Today we're going to review the new Belmont Bell Sensor Gold and what Densply RIN sensor holder solutions will work with that. The Bell Sensor Gold is a new sensor from Belmont. It's available in either a size 1 or a size 2, used for intraoral uh, radiographs. And the system that uh, Densply RIN recommends for this is the XEPDS Fit system. Uh, the reason for this is that it's our newest universal system. But because it's universal, uh, you can use one byte block with either a size 1 or a size 2. So you only need one byte block per indication for both the size 1 and size 2 sensor. Uh, this is the anterior byte block. You can see that we made the byte area thicker here, basically uh, increasing the thickness, adding the thickness of a cotton roll to keep the mouth open for patient comfort. This one byte block works with both size 1 and size 2 of the uh, Bell Sensor Gold. And there's a byte block for each indication. The yellow would be the posterior. And you can see how that attaches there. And quadrant changes are, are quite easy with this sensor holder. You can see how quickly I just flipped that over. And the same holder works with a size 1 or a size 2. There it is in the size 1. There is a horizontal byte wing piece. And again, it's very fast loading. You just use the edge of the sensor to lightly press up and center it in the byte block, and you're ready for an image. And again, that uh, one byte block works with both size one and size two. And there's a vertical byte wing uh, option as well. If you prefer to take some vertical byte wings, you want to keep the cord towards the top of the mouth when you're doing the verticals. And the XEPDS fit system works with both um, our standard XEP arm and rings. You can see the yellow and the yellow for posterior, red for bite wing, and, and blue for anterior. So it will uh, fit with your standard arms that you probably already have in the, the operatory. Or if you want to reduce some of the clutter, you can just try it with the new XEP Aura system, which is a three-in-one positioning arm and ring. Now, the best way to use this system is to keep in mind that your colors are always going to be on the, the side uh, when you're doing your alignment. And whatever pin you're going to use, um, whether it's the red pins for the bite wings or the shared blue and yellow pins now for anterior posterior, are going to be facing the other direction of the colored uh, receiver on the ring. So let's line it up for an anterior so we can see that our colors are on the side. The pins that we're going to use are facing the other direction. And we'll just get our bite block on there. And so this would be an anterior alignment. We have our, our ring, the area where the teeth are going to uh, bite down that we're going to image, and also the sensor holder here. So ring, teeth, sensor holder. Kind of makes sense. And that would be the size 2 in there. You always want to check, make sure you got it. Uh, correctly assembled by looking through the ring. And if you're going to go to a size 1 for some of your anterior images, it's very easy. You just leave the same holder on there and it stretches out to fit. Now let's align for a posterior. 